Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in St. Petersburg, Russia for the 10 things that are going to shock travelers when they come here to Russia. So let's get started. And the first thing that shocks people when they come here are the people. And some of it is the service when you're here or lack of service. Yes, don't expect a lot of service when you come to Russia. It can be shockingly bad and time consuming and just uh, frustrating. <laughs> and yes, sometimes it seems like they don't care and they don't smile back and that kind of shocks some people. But look, they're not me they're just reserved and the thing is when you get to know Russians and they open up to you they can be some of the most fun people ever I mean I've had so many great parties and great dinners and great times with my Russian friends I've made around the world I mean have you ever had a party and then when you go to sleep someone tries to sew you into your bed yeah that's the fun stuff that Russians do and when I've had the chance to meet the people you know and when it's really helped is just knowing a few words of Russian can turn that stone face into a hey you could be a friend of mine kind of thing and it really makes a difference so do try to learn a little bit so you can meet the people because I can't tell you how many cabbage rolls I have eaten over the years from babushka's grandmas that are, you know the grandmas of my friends are like oh Mark he's home alone he needs friends and they'll be like bring him over you know I've had times where it's hey Mark my friend Max is his, his mom's like uh, well, Max and Cubs like, uh, my mom, my grandma said you have to come over because you need to eat because <laughs> they were worried about me. I mean, the people really are super hospitable when you get to know them. That's why you should take the time. If you're going to go on the Trans-Siberian Highway, bring a deck of cards and something to drink so you can share and play cards and gamble and stuff like that because you will get to know the people and it is quite fun to meet them and hang out with them. And that's why I really want to say is it shocks people that yes, that service can be so bad, but this people can really be wonderful when you get a chance to actually meet them. So if you get a chance to, do meet them, all right? Now, the second thing that shocks people when they come here is actually deciphering the language. <laughs> Look. Russian is the Cyrillic alphabet. You will not understand anything and it shocks people when they come here and think, oh well, I'm sure they know some English or something like that. No, look, Russia is one of the largest countries in the world in population size and things like that and so they focus on Russian just like in the US. It's all in English. Here it's all in Russian and finding people that speak English is sometimes hard to find outside of you know some of the major cities and even in places like St. Petersburg and Moscow, you don't always get a lot of English around there even in the tourism industry. So make sure you do Know a little bit. And remember what I told you, knowing a little bit of Russian can really warm people up. So a spasiba, you know, thank you, and a, you know, <laughs> you know, a, a pivo, you know, for, for a beer, or hey, let's get a, a pivo, you know, let's get a drink. Oh, hey, you know some stuff. It really opens people up. And yes, does, yes, and they is no, and things like that. But it is one of those things. And I, I'd also say, yeah, where, that's one of the things you should know. But it is really cool. And the thing is, though, it is really hard to decipher the letters. So before you come, make sure you at least try to get an idea of what the letters sound like. Like the backwards R is a Y, yeah, and then the there's a D that looks weird, and you got the, the you think it's a P, but it actually makes an R sound. It can get kind of confusing. And when you're taking the metro and you're looking for places and you can't figure it out, it can get really shocking and scary for people. So I do recommend get a Google Translate app and download the offline version, so you can just take a picture of things and it'll dis and, and translate it for you. It will make your life. A lot easier but you'll be shocked how you have really no clue when it comes to the Russian language. Now the third thing that's going to shock you are the churches, specifically the Russian Orthodox churches on the outside, you know, with the onion domes and all the colorings. But for me, it's the insides of the churches. So you're going to go to St. Basil or the Spilt Blood Church here in St. Petersburg. They're just gorgeous with the icons inside, the gold, the silver, and all these things. It is truly amazing. And you go in and you're like, wow. I mean, you don't, you go into so many churches where you just go, wow, and you get shot by that beauty. So don't skip the, the, the churches when you come here. Go and enjoy them because they really are shocking beautiful. Now the fourth thing that shocks people when they come to Russia is they realize that wait there's more than St. Petersburg and Moscow. Yes you can go to the Kremlin in Moscow but you know what you can go to the Kremlin in Kazan. Kremlin means citadel that's where the church and the walls and all these things are and you can really see it in lots of different places and Russia has a lot of great places to check out. Yes St. Petersburg with the Hermitage and the Winter Palace and, and the river here and all these kind of things are super awesome to do and in Moscow with the Kremlin Red Square and seeing Leonard, yeah it's great but getting out and exploring in Russia is really a fantastic thing. So, you know, for me, I know when I was doing my research, I'm like, man, Kazan with the mosque there and the and the city and the Kremlin there just looks gorgeous, and I really want to check it out. Going on a Volga River cruise, something like that. You have all these things that are really amazing. So don't be shocked when you realize that. Hey, wait, it's not just St. Petersburg and Moscow. No, this place is huge, and that leads to the next shock: is how insanely huge Russia is. Look, get it, Russia goes from one side of Asia to the other side of Asia and then into Europe. 
okay? It's huge, and that Trans-Siberian Highway is going, or sorry, that Trans-Siberian Railroad will take you days, weeks, maybe a month to go through it all. So you really need to realize the size of this place is enormous. And especially if you're going to even the cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg, when you look at a map for a Berlin or a London, you think, oh, I can walk that, or Rome, I can walk that. St. Petersburg, when you see these things, you go, man, that is too big to, you don't realize, it's, you can't really walk those distances. It's so big. So make sure you do use that public transport because it is very helpful. It goes lots of places and makes a big difference. And yes, you can bring your kids here too. It's not a big deal. And with that size, you really need to plan ahead with flights and transportation because of the distance and time it takes. It really is more helpful to have a better idea when you get there. So you're not trying to go place to place to place. You really need to plan it out beforehand because of those distances. Now, another thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is the weather. And I'm gonna tell you, the weather is no joke. Sometimes you can have great, you know, summer nights like we are here, the white nights here in St. Petersburg. And that is really cool. The daylight through the summer is fantastic. But when winter comes, it is dangerously cold and you need to be careful when you are here, all right? So when you are coming, make sure you bring clothes to layer up, bring those warm clothes. Even in the summer, make sure you got those layers because it will get chilly once the sun doesn't really go down, but once it starts to hover near the horizon, you want to be careful with that. Now, the seventh thing that shocks people when they come here is safety can be an issue, whether it is pickpockets in St. Petersburg or Moscow, or it's getting ripped off by taxi drivers, or it's people trying to rip you off just in general. These things do happen to tourists, and it does shock them how often these things happen. And it's not just in the tourism industry and stuff like that. I've got shook down by police when I've been here. These kind of things do happen, and so you want to be prepared. So make sure if you're not, I mean, evenings, finish up and head back to your hotel. Ask your hotel where you should go or shouldn't go. You do really need to pay attention with these things. And I would say with the safety kind of thing, I don't recommend, you know, don't take pictures of the police, don't take pictures of government buildings, well, like, you know, like military buildings and stuff like that. I mean, you can take a picture of the Kremlin for the, you know, those things. But you do want to be careful when you are here. And probably the most shocking of all those safety things is the traffic. When you'll see, I mean, when you go on YouTube, you'll see the traffic dash cams around Russia and you'll be like, oh my God, these people drive crazy. They do drive crazy. And when you're in the crosswalk, it's like they're aiming for you. You got to be really careful with that, okay? So just heads up on that one. The eighth thing that's going to shock you when you come here is sticker shock. Russia is expensive. Whether it's getting your visa costs, hotels, restaurants. For tourists, it can be quite uh, expensive proposition coming here. And you will be shocked that sometimes there's two prices. One for the locals and one for travelers. So you will have to pay more for museums or other things. So just, just be ready for that. Don't be shocked by it. Just realize it can happen and don't get, don't try to trick them because you'll be shocked but they'll realize, dude, you're not Russian, okay? Now, the ninth thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is the hassle and the pain in the buttness of getting your Russian visa. You gotta, I mean, this is one of the things you gotta be planning as like a month in advance. You know, it's not something you can do last minute to come. You really have to think about this because so, it can take with an agency, you know, like four or five days, or it could take up to a month if you're doing it on your own. And getting the invitations, the hotel stuff, oh, it's shockingly frustrating to do. So just a heads up on that, okay? And the 10th thing that's gonna shock you is when you're in Moscow, yes, you really can see Lenin's body. No, you probably can't take pictures when you are there, but you can see him. So I hope you like your 10 shocks. If you want to learn more about visiting Russia, things you're going to love and hate, what you don't do when you come here, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all those fun things. And we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So please do subscribe and have a great time here in Russia. It is a lot cooler than you expect. You will be shocked how much more fun you'll have than everyone seems to tell you you will. Bye.